Oh, he's hungry. He sees they it. They have a purpose. Look how tall he is. Maybe it's because I'm so short. Look how tall he is. <laughs> oh, come on, you're almost there. I let him down. That he was my best. There he goes. What's going on guys? Welcome to another video. So today we've got Christian back with hey. us and we're actually in with Chubb. So Kyle, how yeah. about you tell people about Chubbs a little bit? I haven't seen him in a while. Again? Yeah. Oh. Watch our other videos. No, it's not enough. Okay, fine. So he is approximately 14 and a half feet. Right, Christian? That's right. right. Approximately. Yeah. Approximately 14 and a half feet. No, he's probably about 12 and a half, 13 foot. Um, we're actually going to be moving him soon to the new property and then we'll get an actual measurement on him and find out. But Christian, what you say, 12? He is... Mm -hmm. 12. 12. He is a rescued alligator, essentially rehomed alligator. I wouldn't say rescued. Uh, he was just moved from one facility to another just because he was getting beaten up by a much bigger alligator. So he has been rehomed here and now living it up in this pond. But again, he will be moving soon to an even bigger enclosure in the next coming weeks, even. You hungry, bud? Yep, he's hungry. Come on, bud, come on, come on. Stop being so lazy, come out, come out. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, bud, come on. Love the sound it makes. Hey, 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 I'm not done yet. Tug of war. So it's funny, because you can see, right when he started noticing, I'm pulling back on him, he just locked on and pulled back into the water. And that's their kind of, their um, MO is to hold onto their prey. And if it's gonna struggle like that, he'll pull it into the water and drown it. I'm gonna see how good his vision is. I wanna see how like, how close is close enough for Chubb. So it seems like holding up just here, he sees there's two rats dangling in the air. There's definitely enough motivation to get way up here. But I always say with Chubbs, I give him a lot of credit. It's a lot of animal to be moving, so. I mean, me sometimes, I feel like I get lazy enough trying to run down the street. So let's see if he'll pick his head up. Nice. He didn't eat with his mouth closed. He doesn't have manners like that, but we'll, we'll work on it. Uh, they don't chew. Bring him all the way up, because then we'll do an unofficial measurement with my okay. shoes and see what he's at. Chubbs. Chubbs, come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, he likes the camera. Yeah, so again, this right. guy is Come blind, on. and this eye. Come on. Uh, well, so, it's definitely defected of some sort. It's definitely Chubbs. most likely an, an injury from mm -hmm. another bigger male. Um, but he definitely has great vision on the other side. So we're still not out yet. Oh, Come okay, on. we're close. So Come let's on. just do again. This is the safer side. Come on. He's running out of real estate. Yo, I got. One, All right, here's your two, measurement. Three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. What? You're he way has off. Small feet. You were you were curling. Kyle has small You gotta small walk feet. a straight line. All right, fine. Here we go. Straight line. <laughs> Why do you say it at the end, Ryan? Because <laughs> I've seen you like go. Ooh, come way out here, here, way out there. How big are your feet, though? They're size 12. So what we'll okay. do is we can, we'll go I'm back, size measure my shoe. And so we're going to start. Let's see. His right. tail's right there. You good? You good? We're a good measurement go straight there. Line. Right. One, straight line. Straight line. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ten right there. You're going to look close to the full. Eleven, right? Ten. 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 That's ten? Ten. 11, 12, 13. 12 and a half, 12 and a quarter. Come on. 12 and three quarters. Uh, oh, dude, I don't know. Tail dude, got the tail shorter. The tail was curled too. The tail was curled too. You started with the straight. You had it. You had it right. <laughs> so people at home, write in the comment section, what do you think? I mean, He's Kyle's measurement one. might have been a little off, but okay, 12? Hold on, hold on. Also, here we go. Here we go. also here we go. I'm almost positive my shoe size is a 12, but I think the shoe itself is about 13 inches. So. Right. You're wrong. This is You're wrong. That's his good side. Here, let's see. Hold on. Christian. Oh, God, watch out. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, he it worked you. for a minute. <laughs> he said, free food. Free food. That's why it's good to have backup. In case you ever need to lay down next to a giant crocodilian like Chubbs the alligator, you got backup. Let's My see. back got up. 
Let's okay. see if we can get him over this way. Okay. Cubs. Come on. Come on. Chubs. Oh, he's like, ah. Hit that back. reverse. So since he is kind of lacking vision on the right side, that's where you see he's, he can't really see what's there. He's just feeling for it. Christian, any fun facts about alligators you got for us? Oh my gosh, there's so many fun facts. There could be a whole seminar. Um, Alligators, their brain is the size of my thumb. So, I mean, my hand's probably not the same size as your hand at home, especially if you're Shaquille O'Neal. Shaquille O'Neal, come out here, check it out. But my thumb is the size of his brain but these animals have been around for so long because they do a lot of things right. A big misconception about alligators is that they attack everything they want to eat. When realistically, they're one of the laziest crocodilians out there. They're what we call like an opportunistic hunter. So they wait for food to kind of happen upon them or an opportunity arises. Uh, fun fact about alligators, they did a study on wild caught alligators recently in Florida and they did a 250 alligators they caught and they found a, ma a vast majority of what they were eating in the wild was actually apple snails. So it's very huh. strange to think that they like to eat apple snails, but if you think about how they act, it's a slow moving prey item. It's crunchy, it's full of calcium, protein, and they're readily available. Mm -hmm. Also, uh, grass shrimp are another big fun uh, prey item for little alligators. But so they kind of eat like a fish. Yeah, they, they eat. Oh, good that was pop. a good pop. Come on, bud. Come on, turn a little bit. Which is interesting because everything you're talking about, I mean, you could go to a bait shop and get and pretty much go fishing with it. Correct, correct. I would give him a little snack here. Come on, bud. All right, stand up. Nice. And that's the maxillary, Christian? This yeah. One? The ma maxillary, maxillary tooth. So every part of the alligator's dentition is like, important essentially to how they grab things and that is the largest tooth that's on the top part of their jaw there's post maxillary pre maxillary just like the bones in their neck there's post optical scutes there's a nuchal osteoderms a lot of big confusing words for you guys out there but every part of the animal is important and they all have oh he's hungry he sees they it. have a purpose look how tall he is maybe it's because i'm so short look how tall he is <laughs> oh come on you're almost there i let him down that was he my bad. There he goes. He's a big alligator. He's not chubby. That's one fun fact about Chubbs. He's not chubby. I know, I mean, the name for the movie, but looking at Chubbs, he's the perfect body condition for a giant male alligator. Like, he's not too wide and he's not too thin. Oh, Thank he's you. in tight. Thank he's you. in tight. Uh, I don't know. Uh, a little too close. You're sneezing on me. But, I mean, look look at the coloration on him. I mean, when you get this close to an alligator, he has a very unique face. And even the coloring on the bottom part of his jaw to the top part. That's part of the camouflage, why they're so good at hiding out there. They kind of blend in with that dark, murky Florida water. Just like, you know, perfect for his enclosure. Getting a little salad in there. Come on, bud. You're so lazy, man. And not that alligators eat salad per se, but there have been observed reports of alligators scavenging palmetto bushes for the berries right in the middle. It was a recently put up an alligator just munching down on a bush. I watched the alligator eat a mango. Yeah, see? Right. So, Fell on a uh, pond and just ate it. It's crazy. They're, uh, they have taste buds. I think they're very aware of what's different, but whether they like it or not, who knows? We're at a standoff here. Make him do something. So... Is this like the trick with your dog when you put a biscuit on its nose? <laughs> you just shut down. <laughs> I don't even know what to do. Does he even see it? Let's see. He can definitely feel it. Yeah. Because you can, can see, see he just it. keeps closing his mouth ever slightly. He's confused. How do I get it? I guess that's probably the first time something's been on top of his face like that. He's not had to bite it off. Yeah, because you can definitely see it there. Oh, yeah, for sure. Oh, oh. And it's nice. gone. Bye. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, crunch. Oh, the crunch. That's one thing. That's always a great thing about feeding out whole prey. It's a great reminder of don't get bit. Yeah. By anything, little, big, 
because it hurts, but especially that size, it's it's gonna be really bad. It's gonna take something off. I, I mean, even I've seen crocodilians that, you know, as they get older, their tooth regeneration slows down. Even bite force from the jaws is enough to literally like collapse your arteries, break bones in your hands. So yeah, don't get bit. At this size, his bite force easily, easily is at 1500 PSI. Oh yeah. So And his, his head is like humongous. So like there's a lot of inches in the head is what I'm trying to get at. You're gonna get a lot more than just the 1500. I mean, out of the point of one tooth. And he has and all his, I mean, all his teeth are in there, 80 teeth. Let's see your teeth, buddy. Wow! Oh, oh, there we go. Was that a jump? I can't tell. I, it, that was pretty awesome. Come I mean, on. Even a big guy like this, every once in a while, will surprise you. Yep. But that's the dangerous thing about the big crocs is obviously if you do get bit and he hangs on, exactly right when you start to, to pull against him, he's just going to take you into the water and try yep. to drown you. Exactly. Here, just want to give it to you. Just want to give it to you. There it goes. Well guys, hope you enjoyed today's video feeding Chubbs and kind of seen an update on him. He's obviously doing wonderful here. Wait till you see the new enclosure though, because it's insane. But well, we probably will never show you. Probably, yeah, we never. We you guys have been yeah. asking. We're never gonna show you. The new property is off limits. You'll never see it, just the animals will be gone. Come we'll on, gone. disappeared forever. <laughs> well, make sure you follow Christian on Instagram, uh, Christian uh, Wild Florida. Correct. And also follow us at Primitive Predators and we'll see you on the next one. I have an Instagram too. Don't follow Kyle. I'll okay. put in the link below though. But. Okay. But uh, don't, but don't, but don't do it. Don't do it. We'll see you guys on the next one. See you guys.